Thank you all for coming. This is a very inconvenient time for many people to come here so early. We are very, you know, happily surprised that we have a, a good gathering of, uh, of people here that tells of the interest of the subject of this book. This is going to be conducted uh, in bilingual fashion. Uh, we are going to be speaking, some of us in English, some of us in Spanish, and we can respond to any question uh, in whatever language you prefer. If you want to raise a question in English, feel free to do it. We will we'll be responding in English. If the question is raised in Spanish, we will respond in Spanish. Uh, I hope that there is no complaint from the Americans who lost Florida to the Cubans a long time ago. Uh, this is the way that things are happening sometimes here, where it's hard to find people uh, that frankly are bilingual. Um, I, I would say a couple of things about the book. This is a book that covers, as uh, Provost Dr. Montoya explained, those slander and uh, character assassination campaigns that are state-sponsored and particularly the cases, a few cases that we have made this, their study that occurred in Cuba since 1959. By that, what I want to make clear is you can find every day, everywhere, a slander campaign from a politician against another politician, from a political party against another political party, from a dissatisfied consumer against a restaurant. That's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about here about the danger when of state-sponsored campaigns, particularly when those campaigns take places take place in um, in totalitarian or dictator environments, uh, because the state can nullify any dissenting voice, can block any alternative information, and they can control uh, the message. Having said that, uh, I would pass the, the microphone to Carlos Alberto Montaner, who I believe can introduce us to the subject in general. And then we will al alternate uh, with the other stories uh, in English and Spanish. So, Carlos Alberto, please. Thank you. 